first working prototype of the one laptop per child project. Yes, that is correct. And what's in it? Um, well, what we have here is a working prototype. So we've got a, a working display. This is a model display until we finish the actual display. Uh, in behind display, you can actually uh, feel uh, the, um, the main board that we're going to actually use. And this is a, um, one of the test boards, but it is the electronics. It's very close to the final board we're going to use, so it's a real live demo. Um, we do have a working display that goes up and down. It obviously has a very nice handle, so it's very easy to carry back and forth between home and school. Um, you can flip this around and fold it down to run in ebook mode. Uh, there's also, uh, you can see a set of buttons here that make it very easy to use uh, when it is in that mode, so you can page around in books, and also we're encouraging kids to use games as well, so they will be able to use it for playing games. You can see that it has a keyboard that is pretty well sealed. I mean, you don't want to get in water, but it should keep most spills and dust and dirt out. Uh, the other external feature that we have are basically, they call it the rabbit ears, but it will uh, double your wireless coverage and allow the mesh network to work much better. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can help with the last one. And there's a USB port in yep. behind, and behind there. Are USB ports. This one is also has the microphone and the speaker connections as well. Yeah. And the so battery is on... The battery is actually located under here. This, this particular prototype doesn't have a battery. We need to plug it in, um, just for simplicity's sake. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you can see that there is an... Underneath, you can see you can remove the battery to have it replaced. It's one of the few things that we have that's easy to work on. And it's going to be a standard laptop battery? or It is not a standard laptop battery. It's actually a special battery that they're going to build. It's a pretty standard battery, but it's going to be a long lifetime. You can provide it with any kind of power and it should. So it's, it's environmental friend, no, environmentally friendly? Environmentally exactly. Friendly. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's boot it up. Okay. So the thing about the monitor is that uh, the flat panel has two modes. It actually runs in a roughly 640 by 480 color What's mode. It's just a glass oh. that they happen to have on it. Is it going to come up with Fedora like that? Um, we don't know. We don't know what the first experience is going to be. But this is, uh, you know, this is just how do we get Linux running on it? We've actually got a, a miniature distribution, which this is not, which will allow people to um, uh, have a very different experience than what we have in the current desktop. But it is running Linux. That is the main board that's inside of it. Um, it does work reasonably well. And this is a pretty standard group. I think ours is going to be much cleaner than this. So you can hide this too, right? Yeah. And this is all running off flash memory. This is running off an internal flash. Uh, it's somewhat different than the flash that will be in the final board. What they did was they uh, put a one gigabyte flash IDE drive on the inside that they can uh, they lift pads on the the board to be able to do that for testing. Uh, and that's what they did when it left the factory. And the total total time is going to be about much lower than this. Okay. <laughs> We're hoping we can do it in uh, a matter of seconds. This is much too long. It's going through the standard Fedora boot process, for sure. So that's all done, right? Yep. Okay. It's done pretty well. So what do you have on there? We don't actually have any programs there. <laughs> <laughs> it was an image viewer, correct? Yeah, you can, I mean, you can view is images. It, you can start up. Is this? Double click on it. Double click, not single click. Yeah, I don't want to Well, that's just the image here. That's my wife. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, you can see the keyboard actually works. Um, you can jump out, um, and you can get a sense of the keyboard as well. We have uh, the thing is, is that there's a it's it's got a gigabyte gigabyte right there uh, right now. But what they did was they just took out a lot of programs. We've taken out a lot of the underlying operating system that you don't need, uh, and you know we've got it down to like 100 meg now, 150 meg or so. And wow. you're aiming to cut that in half. Well, we, we can cut it in half because we have a compressing file system. Yeah, it doesn't have much on it right now. Sound and video. CD, there's no CD player in it. Um, uh, is, CD, is CD player is, is meant to be a preferred device? You can add it on as a USB. Software updater, that's awesome. File browser. Yeah, yeah most of that stuff is not on there, so. Add schedule. Yeah. Places, this is so home, school, yeah, etc. you can put all sorts of things in there. Yeah. Although, I think the, just a, I don't know, I want set expectations properly, I think the final interface is going to look very different than this. Some kind of an API toolkit? SDK. Yeah, we'll have that. We'll have an yeah. SDK with it for schools yeah. to build applications? Yep. We're actually thinking about changing the application model, too, quite a bit, so it's really easy to build an application and deploy it.